In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a search bar animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we first just going to begin by turning on the proportional grid because this is going to help us with framing up the search bar. So once you've done that, you just want to go up to the rectangle tool on the top bar of After Effects and scroll down to rounded rectangle tool. Then from there, we just want to go over to the word fill, select that and make sure there is none selected. Then we'll go over to the word stroke, select that and make sure fill or solid color is selected. Then we can change the color of this to a color of your choice. So I'm just going to select a white in this example and I'm just going to increase the stroke width up to around 11, 12, somewhere around there. Then I'm just going to draw a rectangle in the center of the composition using this proportional grid to help with framing. And once you're happy with that, you can just turn off the proportional grid. If you wanted to change the width of this stroke, by the way, then feel free to just increase this or decrease this up here. I'm going to keep this somewhere around the 20 mark. I don't want this to be too thick, but I feel like this is a good level. So now that we've created the actual box, we need to animate this on because if we play this, nothing is happening. So we need to go down into the shape layer. We'll go down to add, select the little play button by the add. Then we'll go down to trim paths. Then inside of trim paths, you've got end and start. We'll pull the end down to zero, create a brand new keyframe on the end by selecting that stopwatch icon. Move over one second, one and a half seconds and we'll pull that up to 100%. And when we play this back, there you go, that has now animated on. Although at the moment there was no real character to that animation, so we want to convert these linear normal keyframes into easy ease keyframes. And to do that, we just want to highlight and select both, right click on one of those, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And now if we play this back, you'll notice there's a little bit more character to that animation. You see it slows down a little bit as it's finishing off the animation and it slowly speeds into the animation as well. So it just looks a bit nicer. So now that we've created the animated box, now we need to actually add the words in. So just go up to the type tool on the top of After Effects, the horizontal type tool, select inside that box and type out your search term. So how to edit videos. And then you just want to highlight all of that. We'll go to the character window. And if you're not seeing the character window, by the way, then just go into window and make sure character is enabled. And if it's enabled, you'll see this tick. Then you can just go ahead and you can change the color of this font. You can change the font itself, but I'm going to keep to a monster at. You can increase the size of this and I would recommend making sure that it fills the box roughly. So somewhere around here. Then of course you can add some character separation or some kerning just by increasing or decreasing the value next to VA. So as you can see, this is the spaces between the letters. And then of course you can do a faux bowl, faux italic, all caps, and all of these other options here. But once you're happy with how that looks, we'll just turn the proportional grid back on. As you can see, I've made a spelling mistake on how, so I'm just going to amend that. And then from there, you can just drag this into the center. So that should be perfectly in the center now. And now we have this really cool text. Although the problem is the animation, the search bar that animates in, but the text isn't animating in. So this is where we want to do a simple typewriter effect for this text to animate in. Now, if we were doing this in Premiere, we would have to go through the manual process of animating this in, but there is a typewriter plugin in After Effects. So if we go into effects and presets and we search for typewriter, you can see animate in is a typewriter preset. So we'll drag the cursor to around two seconds and we'll drag that typewriter preset onto the word. And there you go, that is now animating in, although at the moment it's just a little bit too slow. So we'll go into the drop down arrow, go into text, then we'll go animate to one, range select to one, and you can see this is the distance between the keyframes. So let's just decrease that distance to speed that up. That's a lot better already. However, it's still not quick enough and I feel like I'd want it to happen a little sooner. So we'll drag them both back to the left and then we'll decrease that gap again. And then we'll highlight both of those, right click and turn these into easy ease keyframes again. So if we play from the beginning, 
they both now animate in and that looks really cool. Just before we carry on with this video, I'm going to take a quick break to talk about my Skillshare courses. If you're enjoying these YouTube videos, but you would prefer more long form content, then my Skillshare courses are perfect for you. I have a two hour plus course all about Adobe After Effects and it teaches you everything you need to know to get started and to get familiar with the interface and how After Effects works. So if you're interested and you want to learn more, then please feel free to check the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually add a magnifying glass or a search button animation onto this. So in order to do that, we're just going to go up into the pen tool. And I'm just going to draw this line here. Then I'm just going to draw a circle at the top of that. Mine is definitely a little bit imperfect. It definitely doesn't look particularly great, but that is fine for now. I'm just going to close this off here. Feel free to go in and make sure that your magnifying glass animation is perfect. But in this example, that would do the trick. I am, however, going to increase the width of the stroke just to make that a little bit easier, just to kind of hide all of those imperfections. Then I'll zoom back out. I'm going to scale this down. So I'll press S on the keyboard, decrease the scale, and I'm just going to move that back over onto the right and I'm just going to rotate it around a little bit. So there you go, that's kind of doing what it needs to do. I'm going to put this on the left actually and then I'm just going to decrease the width a little bit because it's a bit too thick at the moment. There we go, that is good although I am just going to shrink this even more and then I'll use that proportional grid to help frame this up in the middle. There we go. So as you can see we've got this magnifying glass, we've got the text, and then we've got the actual box itself. So let's play this back from the beginning. As you can see, that magnifying glass is not animating on. So we'll just go to in between this box animating on and the text animating on. We'll go into that shape layer. Then we'll go to add. And like we did before, we'll go trim paths, open trim paths, pull the end to zero, brand new keyframe on end, move over and increase that to 100% and then we'll convert those keyframes to our easy ease keyframes and now when we play this back you can see we've got this really simple search box animation inside of Adobe After Effects. Now if we just go ahead and close these all down and then we create a brand new null object so we'll go layer new null object we can select all of those layers minus the null object and then we can use this icon here the pick whip tool to select null one. So essentially we are linking shape layer two, the text and shape layer one to the null object. And that means if we go into the null object, when we change the scale or the position or the rotation of the null, it affects all of those layers at the same time. So if you wanted to, you could use the null to move it into a specific part of the frame or alternatively after a while, you could create a brand new keyframe on scale move over and then pull that down to 0% so you can animate it out like this. But there you go. That is how you create a simple search bar animation inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.